back to my channel. Welcome to another meal plan and grocery haul. It's actually Sunday morning right now. I planned on having this up and done by now because today is meal prep day, but I am running a little bit behind. I still don't even have our anniversary vlog video up. Oh my gosh, y'all, that was like three hours worth of filming, so that's taken me a while to get that up. It'll probably be another week or so before I have that one up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Christy, and I'm currently following the WW Blue program, but I will provide you the points for all three programs, and also I will always link all the recipes down in the description box below. So if you're not following WW, that will give you the link to the original recipe, which will have the nutrition facts in case you're not following WW. So my snacks as normal, uh, I usually just go back and forth between fruit for zero point, sugar free pudding for two, popcorn for three, and string cheese for one. I have been doing much better on my snacking and also much better on my exercise. My steps, I have kicked it into gear. Angela, uh, I thanked you on the anniversary vlog, but I wanna thank you again for inviting me to my first work week hustle challenge. That really got me moving and that's what kind of put things into place and I'm just really doing great. In fact, I got 12,000 steps yesterday. Okay, so for uh, meals this week, Monday I don't know really for sure what we're doing. Probably gonna do a big breakfast and then burgers and corn on the cob. It's Memorial Day, so we really kind of haven't decided exactly, um, so I'm not sure on the points on that. And of course, I'll always have my coffee for two points. Breakfast prep this week, I'm looking forward to a skinny taste recipe. You guys know I love her recipes. And doesn't look like I'm gonna tweak this one, so I'll be giving her actual recipe link, which is breakfast taco scramble. It looks delicious. There was actually a video I watched uh, on Facebook of it, and it, it just looks so good. And that's gonna be five points for blue, three points for purple, and y'all, that one is 11 points for green. So if you're on green and that is high for you, then you may want to maybe not use whole eggs. She uses whole eggs in hers. So there's a couple of things that you could do to change the points. Uh, but that's the way it is as I'm going to make it. So I'm going to be doing that Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And then Friday, I'll just do my fiber one cereal for two points with unsweetened almond milk for zero. I forgot to write my coffee there, but I have my coffee every day. For lunch prep this week, I'm going to do a cheesy kielbasa rice and broccoli skillet. I've done a kielbasa skillet before, and I actually thought that I had one on my website, but I don't. It's the kielbasa uh, sheet pan bowls. That's what I have on my website. So this is going to be five points for all programs. It's basically kielbasa, rice, and broccoli with other vegetables in it. And then that's going to be, of course, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then Friday, I'll probably just do like a turkey and cheese wrap. And I don't have the points on that. It's probably going to be three. just depends on how much I put on it. For dinners this week, like I said, Memorial Day, we'll do probably burgers and corn on the cob. The Tuesday night, we're going to do Italian chicken roll-ups, and those are four points on blue and purple, six points on green, and I'm going to do that with ranch cauliflower for two points. And then Wednesday, I'm going to do garlic herb pork tenderloin with potatoes, carrots, and gravy. I've done that multiple times. That's one of our favorites. That's nine points on blue, six points on purple, and 12 points on green. Thursday and Friday night, I'm going to try a couple Instant Pot recipes. I'm going to do Instant Pot Chicken Parm Pasta Thursday night for 9 points on blue and purple, 11 points on green. And then Friday night, I think I'm going to do Instant Pot Beef Stew, and that is 8 on blue and green and 6 on purple. So that is what's on the plan for this week. And weekends, I don't normally plan for. We wait until, usually I kind of have an idea about fr maybe by Friday what we're going to have for the weekends. Um, but we just, something changes all the time, so I don't plan that far in advance. So now I will show you my grocery hauls. This week I did an Aldi Instacart delivery and also a Walmart grocery pickup. Okay, everyone, so this is my grocery haul from Aldi. I did an Aldi Instacart delivery, and the total of this with the tip was $131. And I'm also going to be doing a Walmart grocery pickup. I don't actually have that one, so after I do this, I'll insert the clip from that after I get that. 
So let me move my water out of the way here. So I have cauliflower, I have zucchini, these bags of chicken tenderloin. These are, if you all saw my vlog from, I think it was the Mother's Day vlog, where my husband made the barbecue chicken, and we ended up using it for meal prep that week. You probably heard him make a comment that I need to buy these from now on because they were so easy to cook. This is just chicken tenderloins, boneless, skinless chicken tenderloins. Zero points on blue and purple, and one point on green for, I believe, four ounces. If you're on green, double check that. I also got some uh, Brussels sprouts. I keep ordering the baby Brussels sprouts, and they just keep giving me this kind. So I don't, I mentioned before, I don't know if maybe they just don't sell the baby Brussels sprouts anymore, or maybe they're just seeing Brussels sprouts and grabbing them. But they're still as good, but the baby ones are a little bit better. And then I like to keep some green green beans in the cabinet. So I have some French style green beans and also some cut green beans. And I got three dozen eggs. And then I got some green onions. Oh, I guess it's just the shadow. <laughs> they look like they were bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, some blueberries, some tomato sauce. I needed uh, tomato sauce for a recipe some beefsteak tomatoes. I don't know that I necessarily need those, but I do like to make like a big salad on the weekend sometimes, so I went ahead and got those. I said the blueberries. I got these little baby potatoes. They're like potato medley. And mini cucumbers and broccoli. So I also got these hash browns. These are the season's choice hash browns. For hash brown potatoes, I like to get either these or the Great Value brand. And these ones are two points for 94 grams and three points for 131 grams. These are one of those things that the serving size is 100 grams for three points. So definitely toggle and make sure. Also, these ones are zero points on purple. I got some peanuts, six points for the cocktail peanuts. I don't know why they gave me two different kind. I had one in there as a replacement, but he gave me two of that kind, one of this. So these ones are six points, and then those ones are five points for a quarter of a cup. And then low-fat cottage cheese, that kind is two points for half a cup. And then I got some of the Fit and Active Light String Cheese. Whoops, my light went off. I had it on backwards. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> I got some of this Fit and Active Light String Cheese. This is one point for one stick. You can then have two points for two sticks, which a lot of the kind that I used to get would be three points for two sticks. And then when you have three sticks, it becomes four points. So that is good to know that you can actually have two sticks for two points on that. I got some of the chicken breakfast sausage. I just like to have these in the freezer. These are a true one point for one link. Uh, it doesn't change until you get up to four links, then it becomes five points. So one for one, two for two, three for three, and then you're gonna have four for five points. And then I picked up some of the turkey breast tenderloins. This is not the normal. I know a lot of times I talk about the turkey breast portions that I get that's already cooked from Aldi. So that is not what this is. This kind is the kind that you have to cook. So be careful when you hear me referring to the turkey breast tenderloin or turkey breast portions that I get. It's the turkey breast portion that comes kind of like in a, they were all out of them. I actually ordered one, but they were all out. It almost is like a triangle shape, but you can clearly see that that one is pre-cooked and this one you can clearly see is not. So please don't mix that up. So these ones are two points for four ounces and that is on blue and purple also because it does have one gram of sugar in it. And then I picked up uh, some turkey breast. This is the 99% free, 99% fat free. So this kind is zero on blue and purple. And then for green, it's just one point for four ounces. And I got some turkey pepperoni, and as I always say, turkey pepperoni, it says serving size 16 slices for two points. You can actually have 24 slices for two points, so if you wanted to just drop that down to one point, then you could have 14 slices. And then I needed a few spices. I needed some black pepper, some basil leaves. I've actually been using basil leaves for the um, basil parmesan salmon the skinny taste recipe that I use. 
I have actually been using the basil leaves rather than the fresh basil because the fresh basil I end up throwing out. So that's why I've switched to that. I needed some oregano leaves and then they also had this. They have these occasionally. You may have seen, I have actually um, a bread, a bread one and a garlic one. So this one is for barbecue. So it's basically four in one seasonings. So you have this one that's Texas Smoke Shack and then it tells you what spices are in it. And then we have Nashville Hot Chicken. We have Kansas City Sweet Heat. And we have Carolina Golden Honey. And then I got some breadcrumbs. Those are the pinko breadcrumbs. I was all out. And those are three points for one third of a cup. And I think, I believe I hit everything. So I will show you my Walmart haul after I get that. So this is my Walmart grocery pickup and I will share with you what I got from Walmart. So I actually needed two pounds of the ground turkey breast. When I did my Instacart delivery the other day, they didn't have two pounds, they only had one. So I got the other pound at Walmart. So this is zero on blue and purple. It's the ground turkey breast, 99% lean and one point for four ounces on green. I also got some grass-fed beef chuck roast, and from what I can find, this comes out to three points for four ounces. And then I also picked up some chicken breast, and of course zero on blue and purple, two points for four ounces on green. And I, as you saw, I actually have been using the chicken tenderloins, but I do like to use these for some recipes, so I just like to have those in the freezer. I also got some beef stew, or uh, some stew meat rather. This was really hard when you put in stew meat, I guess because it just depends what it is and I really don't know. This doesn't really tell me what kind of meat this is. I think if it's some kind of sirloin, it comes out to seven points for 12 ounces. So I'm, really, I'm just really not sure exactly what they use. Okay everyone, I'm gonna stick this clip in. I actually was just putting everything away and I realized that usually on the back of some of the meat has the nutrition facts and sure enough, this did. Here I went searching and putting everything I could think of in the WW app. So I plugged the numbers in and this comes out to 6.44 ounces. And continue over here, I got some angel hair pasta. I thought this was the kind that comes out to zero on purple, but it's not. I didn't look at it on the ingredients when I did my online thing. Uh, that is five points for two ounces. And then some whole wheat penne for zero on purple, six points for three quarters of a cup dry. I also got this angel hair. These are like those little nests. This you can have uh, two pieces for four points or three pieces for seven points. And then some A1 steak sauce. This is one point for two tablespoons. Some Kraft light mayonnaise. This is one point for one tablespoon. I have been, I got the Hellman's the last time because it was on sale and with full fat mayonnaise, we prefer Hellman's, but for light mayonnaise, we prefer Kraft. I don't care for the light Hellman's. And then some Vlasic pickles, those are zero. I got some more French vanilla sugar-free coffee creamer. And for that one, I actually weigh that out in milliliters, and I can have 82 milliliters for two points. So I usually split that between my two cups of coffee. So I usually have 41 milliliters, usually a little bit less um, because I don't want to go over because that kicks it up a point. So I usually put anywhere between like 35 and 41 milliliters in each cup, and then I count it as the two points. And then some more Trop 50 just because they had it <laughs> they haven't been having this lately so figured since they had it I stocked up on it and again that one is three points for one cup and then my husband's full fat cheese four points for one ounce they did not have the part skim polio mozzarella which is usually two points for one ounce all they had was the whole milk I was gonna tell them that I didn't want the substitute but I figure I'm just using this to shred over the top of a recipe, so I figured this would be okay. And then when I scanned it, I was surprised. It is actually only one more point than the part skim. So this scanned out at three points for one ounce. So I was pretty surprised at that. So 
that is to let you know that there are some recipes that whole milk cheese is tastes better. So just something to keep in mind. It's only one point different for an ounce. Now, if you're putting, you know, 16 ounces in a recipe, that's going to make a huge difference. And then I got some more of the ultra thin provolone. This is a Sargento. And this is the kind that comes out to one point for one slice, three points for two slices, or four points for three slices. And then some beef stew seasoning. I don't usually get this. I usually just do my own. So I'm kind of interested to see how that tastes. I don't know, we'll see. And I got, I don't even know what this is. Oh, some poultry seasoning. I think I needed poultry seasoning for a recipe. Got some of the classic monk fruit sweetener. I have the golden, which is like the brown sugar kind. And I was all out of the classic kind. And of course that's zero points. And then some natural peanut butter, three points for one tablespoon or seven points for two tablespoons. And then I needed some paper bowls and paper plates. And my husband's Chex Mix, that's four points for a serving, which is 28 grams, I think. Yeah, 29 grams. So that's four points for one serving, which is 29 grams or half a cup. I highly recommend things like that, that if you have a scale, you weigh it out. I have been asked by somebody if you need a scale. So here is my personal opinion. If you are strapped for money, you do not need to go out and purchase a scale. You can do good estimates with measuring spoons, measuring cups. I highly recommend a scale because it definitely is more precise. Uh, I have found when I've kind of done little tests of them that it is definitely better to weigh things. But with that being said, if you don't have the money to go buy a scale, you certainly can very easily do the program without a scale and just usually using your measuring spoons and your measuring cups. What I'll suggest is always measure a little bit less. So if it calls for a half a cup, don't fill that to the top, put it a little bit under. And that way that you're sure that you're not getting, you know, a lot because it's not so much in one meal that makes a difference. It's in the whole week. So in the whole week, if you're getting that extra point here and there and here and there, then your points are going to add up. So just my two cents on scales. So I think that I hit everything. I seem to always, always forget something. Okay, I got everything. And this one came to $132.59. So that is it for my meal plan and grocery haul. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you're new, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button. Also click the notification bell so you're notified anytime I upload new content. I'll talk to y'all in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy.